Hi Virgo, welcome to your general forecast for the month of March. This is Miri and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. We're going to take whatever comes out. It could be general, it could be love, it could be work, career, finance, it could be anything. So we're just going to take it as it comes. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. And as with every reading, only take what resonates and throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. It could be past, present, or future. And uh, we're just going to see what comes out here. So welcome, everybody. Let's see what's going on with Virgo at this time. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box uh, for your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using social media links, how to reach out for a personal reading. If you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift. All that information is below in the description. And I'll also pin some of that to the top comment. And also another way to tip or donate if you're not comfortable using um, PayPal is Super Chat is open during the premiere, which uh, is right now. So that is open if you would like to tip or donate in that way. And if you do, thank you. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. <clears throat> so we could get a sign element or planet and we'll see um could be somebody around you or um i don't know we'll just see what comes out here if you don't resonate with what comes out here totally fine so oh, that's two i just want one for virgo energy most around virgo at this time spirit please thank you so much okay i'm feeling this one we have scorpio so you could have a Scorpio around you in some way, shape, or form. Could be a family, a friend, a co-worker, a lover, anybody. Or maybe you have Scorpio heavily in your chart. However that resonates for you. If that doesn't, totally fine. So let's get an opening message for you from this deck. Opening message for you from this deck. And then we'll pull another card to get your energy. And then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot, look at your actual situation, advice for you, and then possible outcome. And then we'll pull some extra messages from this oracle over here at the end. So what is the open message for Virgo at this time? What's going on with Virgo spirit, please? Thank you so much. Can we have an opening message for Virgo? <clears throat> what do they need to know at this time, spirit, please? So much what is the opening message for Virgo dealing with that one and we have coming to life 29 which is 11 and 11 is a very um, spiritual number it's about being spiritually led onto the right path um, <clears throat> the universe kind of pushing you in the right direction kind of energy coming to life so I'm just gonna read I feel like you're just feeling like maybe things are starting to get good for you. Uh, you're starting to feel more positive. You're starting to feel like alive again. So let's see. I just want to read a little tiny bit. See if there's a message here for anybody. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and and evolved over time. Perhaps you've shed skins and identities <clears throat> and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. The card indicates that a long held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time to re reverence and awe. Allow, in, allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. So it's like, <laughs> it's like the universe divine energy is like, leading the way, especially 2911, guiding you, heading you in the right direction. And all you have to do is like let it flow and just go with it and feel like it's all coming together for you, Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have making a choice. 30. 
Oh my God, 2930, progression. Wow, whatever choice you make, whatever choice you're making is in the right direction. And your life is just gonna, everything's just gonna come to life. Everything's just gonna get better. So I'm getting like the wheel of fortune energy, like everything just finally going in the right direction for you. But you have to make, you have to listen to your gut and your intuition and make the right choice for you. Follow your heart. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Cleaning house, 73 is 10. Tens are about endings, but then there's always, always a new beginning. One plus zero is one for a new beginning. So you may be cleaning up people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. Actually, maybe cleaning your house, getting rid of clutter that's weighing you down. And maybe it's making you depressed because every time you see certain things uh, around you, maybe from the past that you never got rid of, from old relationships, from old whatever, and you never took the time to get rid of that energy, I feel like that could really be maybe hindering you, weighing you down, making you feel depressed every time you look at it, you think of the past, and that just drags you down. So for some of you, I think you just need to really clean your space. People, places, and things that are weighing you down and no longer serving you. And I feel like if you finally make that choice, Things, everything is going to fall into place and everything in your life will just get better. So whatever path you're choosing, whatever direction you're going in, whatever choice choices you are making, I feel like spirit is supporting you. Divine energy, the universe is supporting you and trying to lead you in the right direction. Virgo. All right. So let's clarify this energy for you, Virgo. And I just want to give a quick shout out to... All my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, um, sent a gift, thank you, thank you. And we have reached 10,000 subscribers, so in honor of that, I'm giving uh, away a tarot deck along with a free 20-minute reading of your choice. So if you'd like to enter that, check the description box and the top comment. There'll be a link which will send you to my community tab of the channel, which will uh, lead you to the post on how to enter the contest. It's open, open through March. I'll close it April 1st and then I'll pick a winner. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. And uh, if you do, thank you and good luck if you do. So let's see what this energy is about. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. Just want to make sure my cards aren't upside down. So I feel like some of you may be still in this process of trying to make a decision, trying to make a choice here. Um, Cause the emperor is someone who takes the lead, takes control, takes charge, but in reverse, not so much, or it could be out of control kind of energy also. So I feel like for some of you, you still haven't made that choice that you need to make, that you know you need to step up and take the lead control charge and make that choice to do here and could be cleaning up things no longer serving you. All right, what else do we have here? The Knight of Cups energy. So there's that water energy. <clears throat> so, I mean, the Knight of Cups is, you know, moving forward action, but it's in a loving, caring, compassionate energy. So just watch, watch your energy as you're like cleaning things out of your life that you're not too harsh and brash. It's like the Emperor in reverse can be out of control, maybe um, erratic kind of energy. I'm getting to, because we got two like conflicting energies and with making a choice. So just be careful of your energy that you don't become like erratic or um, mean or nasty or anything like that, that you still kind of do it in a kind of like a loving, caring, compassionate kind of energy, if that makes sense. And, you know, that could also be coming forward with apologies. Hey, look, I'm sorry, but this is uh, what's going on. And I'm sorry, but, you know, uh, I think I have to disconnect from you or whatever it is here. <clears throat> judgment. Yeah. So making a final decision here, needing to make a final decision, a judgment call. could also be about forgiveness, asking for forgiveness, you know, um, can be about resurrection, but I'm not really getting... Because you're a cleaning house, I'm not getting resurrection. Could just be, you know, making that final decision and doing it, you know, 
in a forgiving energy um, kind of energy. So what else? Yeah, so you can move forward in life here with the chariot, with drive, ambition, balance to your success and your victory, moving forward triumphantly to your happiness and joy. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. It's like your time for happiness now. I think you've been dragged down by a lot of negative energy around you or maybe making the wrong choices in your life. Now is the time for the right choice in your life so that you can move on to the happiness you deserve. I think that's going to be the title. It's like, because the sun is the most positive card in the deck. So it's success, it's victory, it's healing, it's enlightenment, it's happy home and family, success, victory, everything, everything positive. Butterflies there for transformation, growth, expansion, everything positive with the sun. Three majors in a row. Now is your time to make this choice to move forward to the success and happiness that you deserve in life. All right, so let's get one more. One more for Virgo. Knight of Wands. So again, moving forward. With drive, ambition, passion, go-getter type of energy, going after what you want, going after your happiness, but being in a peaceful, loving, caring, compassionate kind of energy also. So let's see what your situation is here for you, Virgo. Queen of Swords energy. So this is always... Queen of Swords always reminds me of divine intervention, divine energy, trying to shed light, the truth, clarity on a situation. It's also an air sign. <clears throat> you could have an air sign around you in some way, but that's mental clarity. It's cutting away things no longer serving you with that sword. So this, even though you're an earth sign, you could be taking on the energy of an air sign, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is, not taking any BS, um, clear open communication, honesty, um, and again, cutting away things no longer serving you. Nine of swords. So yeah, a lot of stress, worry, fear, anxiety about doing these things that you need to do in your life. Again, this energy of rushing in quickly. A lot of air energy here. So I feel like this is weighing heavy on your mind. It's giving you a lot of uh, stress, fear, anxiety. Um, whatever energy around you that is not serving you, that you haven't cleared out of your life yet, is really playing havoc on your mind. Um, your energy, your stress, anxiety. But right in the middle of your spread here is the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is at very, very fast paced energy. We got three knights here. So there's definitely a need for you to take action in something in your life here. Whatever you've been contemplating, trying to make a choice to take action, it's time for you to get out of that energy of not taking action with the Emperor in reverse and take action, especially with three knights here. And the Knight of Swords is the fastest one to me and that's in the middle of your spread. So I feel like it needs to happen now. It needs to happen soon. And you need to make that decision, Decision. you need to act and move on it moving forward. A lot of air energy here. So I do feel like, so you can have your fiery, passionate new beginning here. Excitement in your life again. Feel like you're coming to life. The Ace of Wands is fire, it's passion, it's excitement, it's projects, endeavors, it's new ideas, it's new spirituality. Kind of energy so there is this new path divinely guided for you which will ignite fire in you and make you feel like you're coming to life again seven of pentacles yeah you've been waiting you haven't been taking action you've been waiting you've been assessing analyzing your life everything in your life people places and things assessing analyzing trying to be patient Trying to figure out what to do here. I mean, some of you, it could be about a job switch or career. Um, <clears throat> it could be anything, but whatever you've been waiting to make a decision on, to clear out of your life, now is the time. 
to take action. So let's see. Let's see what the advice, because you need to free yourself of all this. I'm getting like mental anguish. <clears throat> all right. So what is the advice for you, Virgo? Five of Cups. So that's sadness and loss. Sorrow. The Hermit. That's your energy. Virgo, there you are. That's going within, trying to fa find your way, your path, your light, gaining enlightenment, healing energy. I feel like you need to go within and look at what are the energies in your life that are no longer serving you, that are weighing you down, that are making you feel depressed, sad, uh, hurt, sorrowful um, kind of energy. <clears throat> Wow. Okay, I want two more for the advice for Virgo. Seven of Wands. So that's standing your ground, taking a stance. So you need to stand, take a stand in your life, stand your ground, not back down, using that sword, having that mental clarity, telling it like it is and not backing down. So you need to reflect on what is making you sad, dragging you down, making you feel depressed in your life, that you need to defend yourself against. And put that shield up and not back down because your happiness awaits your total happiness awaits yeah but you're, you're having mental blockages here again more swords eight of swords more bl mental blockage about how do i do this how do i go about it i'm afraid to speak up i'm afraid to confront i'm afraid 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 stuck in your head but now is the time to make, take a stance and really dig deep down and know exactly what you have to do at this time. Virgo. Wow. So let's see what possible outcome could be for you, Virgo. Ten of Swords. So putting an ending to all those swords that have been stabbed in your back. Those people that have been stabbing you in the back when you weren't looking. But then you keep put up with it and you just, you know... Keep doing whatever you're doing and not say anything or just let it slide or whatever. I mean, with the judgment there, I mean, people may come in and say, oh, I'm sorry, or ask for forgiveness, and maybe you accept it, whatever here. But finally, I feel like one last stab, and that's it. That's done. No more. Putting up your shield, protecting yourself from any more swords coming at you. No more swords. All right, so what else here? Nine of Pentacles. So being stable, secure, and grounded, independent, taking care of yourself. If you have to fly solo, um, you could be leaving a home. You could be leaving your family, like if you're living with your family or with somebody or something like that, or roommates or anything. It's like, no, nope, now is the time for me to fly solo, being independent, strong, and self-sufficient and taking care of myself because you do have the tiger there which reminds me of the strength card which is you do have the strength courage to do this what else for virgo <clears throat> ten of wands again another ten about endings burdensome energy painful hurtful energy and so <laughs> ending um burdensome some energy here with the ten of wands painful hurtful energy with these swords no more burdens no more hurt no more being stabbed laying down the burdens laying down the pain ending it all become solo stable and independent on your own however that energy resonates for you so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here so we have the world Again, closing out chapters and starting new, new chapters. So closing out those chapters that are no longer serving you and starting new chapters. Two ones. So feeling like at being at a crossroads for a bit, but finally trying, you know, needing to make those plans and decisions for your future. You know, you're feeling discontent, bored, melancholy about the things going on around you. In life, just kind of sitting there, taking it, not doing anything, not taking action. 
but look, looking at all your app options and decisions you need to make because you're heading to your success and your victory and your happiness to the future. And you're getting away from any energy no longer serving you. You're going to not sneak away, but just going to get it, do whatever you have to do to get away from energies no longer serving you because you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Total growth, abundance, prosperity for the long term, happy home and family, never having to worry. So your Ten of Pentacles is here for you once you make these changes that I feel Spirit wants you to make. So the signs here besides Scorpio, we do have the world which is Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. The Emperor is Aries. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Scorpio. We have Cancer. We have Leo. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. We have um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, let's see. Virgo, that's your energy. So... Those are the other signs that I see. So let's pull some extra messages for you here, Virgo, from this deck. And I do ask Virgo, especially if you're new, you like my style and how I read, um, my energy, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, you'll get five readings a month, two love, two general, and a bonus. And hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. So what are the messages for Virgo? Extra messages for Virgo spirit. Oh, that's way too many. Extra messages for Virgo. Rebel. So this is doing something that you normally wouldn't do. 30, which is three, is about, you know, teamwork, collaboration, working with others kind of energy. But uh, this is doing something you wouldn't normally do and it's going to be kind of like a shock to everybody especially with that knight of swords right in the middle is that rebel energy so spirit is telling you it's time to do something you wouldn't normally do so if it's out of character for you to stand up for to people places and things or whatever or be in that energy now is the time <clears throat> so what else for virgo talk to God. So now we have 11 and I did say 11 is a very spiritual divinely guided number being led on the right path. So if you need to pray, meditate, ask for, you know, divine assistance or whatever, I really feel like spirit wants you to do that. Anything else here for Virgo? Virgo create 24 which is six so some of you may be creative six is again very healing balancing number so if some of you are artistic or like to create things you know maybe you'll free up some of your time to be able to do that or maybe it'll give you uh if you get back into doing things that you used to very creative things um it may bring you a little bit of peace and ha happiness and harmony some of you may be working out in the yard, uh, sculpting, painting, yard work, kind of energy. And on the bottom here, we have Rise and Shine, 56. Again, 11. <laughs> Another 11 card. So Rise and Shine, it's your time to rise and shine, to take action, to have your place in the sun, to rise above things no longer serving you, finally shine in your happiness that you deserve with the sun energy here virgo okay virgo so best of luck to you and i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light